Virginia McGinnis was truly a treacherous and conniving individual who committed many crimes throughout her life. A repeat offender in insurance fraud and suspected of arson, McGinnis's callous disregard for human life paints a chilling picture of a cunning crook who was driven by financial gain. One of the darkest chapters in McGinnis's criminal history unfolded on April 2, 1987, at Big Sore in California. Collaborating with her husband at the time Billy Joe McGinnis, she orchestrated the murder of 20-year-old Deanna Hubbard Weil, a Navy spouse living with her in-laws during her husband's naval service. The motive behind this ruthless act was a calculated pursuit of life insurance payouts, with Virginia having a track record of cashing in on insurance claims. Under the pretext of a sightseeing excursion, the couple lured Deanna to the cliff's edge, where she was drugged during lunch. Subsequently, it is believed that Billy Joe pushed her off the 400-foot cliff overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Virginia Reardon, seemingly devoid of empathy, captured the crime through the lens of her camera, leading investigators to surmise her sick desire for a trophy of the homicide. The grim reality came to light when Deanna's mother, Bobby Roberts, questioned the initial accidental ruling. Engaging a private investigator and attorney, she unearthed the shocking revelation that Virginia Reardon had purchased a $35,000 life insurance policy the day before Deanna's tragic demise. In 1989, the wheels of justice began to turn as Reardon and McGinnis were arrested for the murder of Deanna Wilde. Although Billy Joe McGinnis faced a first-degree murder charge in 1991, he succumbed to complications from pneumonia before his trial commenced. Virginia Reardon, however, faced justice on March 2, 1992, when she was charged and convicted of first-degree murder for financial gain. Her sentence, life in prison without the possibility of parole. The final chapter of this sinister tale unfolded on June 25, 2011, with the death of Virginia Reardon while serving her life sentence. Delving into the sinister chronicles of Virginia Reardon McGinnis reveals a narrative steeped in a lifetime of nefarious deeds. From the early days of petty crimes to the suspected arson fires that marked her adolescence, McGinnis's path was paved with a propensity for lawlessness. The shadows deepened with suspicions of not one, but three murders casting an ominous cloud over her history. The first, in 1972, saw the tragic demise of her own daughter, Cynthia Coates, at the tender age of three. Officially ruled as an accidental hanging, the scene was manipulated before any scrutiny could unfold, and the timely payout from Cynthia's life insurance followed suit. The web of McGinnis's sinister influence tightened around her second husband, Sylvester Bud Reardon, who succumbed to cancer in 1974. Though the official cause was illness, whispers of Virginia's manipulation of medications persisted. Many believe that the night of his passing unfolded with her eerie orchestration of his demise, evading autopsy and paving the way for an insurance windfall. Her arson escapades continued, climaxing in the fiery destruction of her Palo Alto residence in 1985, where she dwelled with her mother. A hefty payout of over $120,000 added to the illicit gains amassed through a criminal career. However, the zenith of McGinnis's malevolence manifested in 1987 when she orchestrated the demise of Deanna Wilde. The 20-year-old, romantically linked to McGinnis's son, became the target of a calculated murder plot. The Big Sore Cliffs bore witness to this heinous act, initially masked as an accident. Yet, the tenacity of a grieving mother and the relentless pursuit of truth unearthed the evidence that would shatter McGinnis's facade. Deanna fell prey to her so-called close friends, BJ and Virginia McGinnis. Amidst divorce proceedings and vulnerability, Deanna became a target, with Virginia strategically befriending her during this tumultuous time. The intricate web of deception spun by Virginia included a fraudulent life insurance claim on Deanna, meticulously designed to avoid arousing suspicion from the insurance company. Fabricating a romantic involvement between Deanna and her incarcerated son, Virginia set the stage for a sinister plan. On the day after securing the fraudulent life insurance policy, the trio ventured to Big Sore. A seemingly innocent lunch served as the backdrop for BJ slipping prescription antidepressants into Deanna's drink, rendering her drowsy and disoriented as they reached the cliffs overlooking Seal Beach. Captured in photos taken by Virginia, the chilling sequence of events unfolded. Earlier images depicted a more alert Deanna, contrasted by later ones showing her vulnerable state. 
The damning photo, taken just moments before Deanna's tragic plunge, showed BJ supporting her at the cliff's edge, an image etched in the annals of a premeditated crime. However, Deanna's will to survive became evident in the abrasions and wounds on the upper sides of her hands, indicative of a desperate attempt to cling to the cliff's edge. Investigators pieced together a grim scenario where a blunt or sharp instrument struck her hands until she could hold on no longer, succumbing to the abyss below. Initially ruled accidental, Deanna's death took a darker turn when BJ's prescription drugs surfaced in the vial of blood taken during her autopsy. Virginia Reardon McGinnis will go down in history as a cold-blooded killer and master manipulator who was willing to betray anyone as long as she profited financially.